More bad news after that destructive fire in Perdido Key. We have learned even more people will lose their homes. NBC 15's Cassie Fambro spoke to the president of the Housing Association who broke down in tears today. Cassie. Well, Kim, you really have to see this to believe it. Just over this concrete wall behind me is complete devastation and damage. The remnants of so many people's homes. It's going to be a total loss. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bobby Walker learned from the condo's insurance agents that even the units left unscorched are unsalvageable. What few units we have left with smoke damage and water damage, they're going to mold and mildew. The remnants of where dozens of people lived are barely recognizable. People tried to salvage what they could. Two men walking through the ashes to save a bench. It does look like a war zone. To make the situation worse, there have been people taking advantage of the chaos. Strangers digging through ashes and taking selfies with the carnage. I just can't tell you the number of people that just wander in here wanting to look. Not only does she feel it's disrespectful, it's dangerous. Oh my gosh, the, you've, you're in rubble. The, the road has melted. Um, there's nothing but piles of trash and nails and metal. The site has been released by the fire marshal to insurance investigators and a fence will be put up. But in the meantime, Walker demands anyone with bad intentions stay away. She says they've been through enough. This is a family. This is not rental units. This is a family. We all live here and they're my neighbors and I love them and I'm going to take care of them. Just unbelievable damage. People trying to figure out what to do next. If you want to help them, we've posted all of that information on our website, mynbc15.com. For now reporting live in Perdido Key, Cassie Fambro, NBC 15 News. All right, Cassie, thank you. Now, in the wake of this tragic fire, many of you have reached out to us here at NBC 15 asking how you can help the victims. Perdido Bay United Methodist Church is asking for financial donations to address immediate needs. Gift cards for places like Publix, Walmart, and Target are also welcome. They tell us 100% of the proceeds will benefit fire victims. Of course, for more information, you can head to our website, mynbc15.com. We have been covering this massive fire since it broke out Wednesday morning. We will continue to follow any new updates. For our previous reports and any new information we get, stay with us on air or head to our website, mynbc15.com.